Hey, human beings. It's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. I am live in my kitchen where I am almost every night for you, about to make something fun, interesting, easy, delicious, healthy, low in calories, wonderful, fabulous. Well, how many other adjectives can I use? I've got Lauren in the back reading comments. I've got Bam Bam chewing on a stick. I've got Lolly chewing on a stick. We've got a lot happening here. Tonight is another pizza snack. I'm very excited. I know you love pizza. I love pizza. Tomorrow for Cinco de Mayo, I'm gonna be making margaritas. We're gonna have a margarita party and I'm gonna be wearing margarita color just like I'm wearing tonight. I am not, I think I dressed wrong, Lauren. I'm wearing my margarita outfit. What am I gonna do? I need to find something else. Green, hello people. Dana, Robin, Dawn, Carolyn, or Caroline. Am I saying it wrong? Karen, hi, Betsy, you're all here. Um, I'm very excited tonight we're talking about pizza. I think pizza is one of my personal favorite foods. Is it one of your favorite foods? Yes. Definitely mine. So tonight several things are gonna happen. I'm gonna make three ingredient pizza. I'm gonna do two recipes for the price of one, which is free. Um, so there's two kinds of pizza and I'm gonna be giving away, if you read today's daily email, Raise your hand, click hearts and likes if you read today's daily email and you saw sticker books, paint by sticker books. Um, raise your hand if you remember seeing that in today's email. And if you clicked on it and bought it, thumbs up to you. But if you didn't, you have a chance to win a sticker book tonight. The way you have the chance to win the sticker book is very simple. You click like, you gotta like, click hearts, thumbs up, laugh, whatever you like to click in the little emoticons and then comment. So we wanna hear your comments. You could just tell me what your favorite pizza is. You can answer one of the two trivia questions. You could tell me what movies I should watch. I got a movie recommendation yesterday to watch Crazy Stupid Love, which I did, and I really liked it. I thought it was adorable, and if you haven't seen Crazy Stupid Love, you should. Um, Emma Stone is amazing, Steve Carell is amazing. It was a fun movie. So again, you can win a sticker book, or you can win a set of Hungry Girl measuring spoons. You guys are going nuts over the spoons. If you like the spoons, you should click like, click hearts, and you have a chance to win this tonight and a sticker book that will allow you to make paint by stickers of cats that you could give to your friends and family on special occasions or not so special occasions, whenever you want. I mean, who would not want a sticker of a cat made by you? I say anyone who says they wouldn't want that is lying. Okay. Where were we? Oh, all right, I'm gonna give you my first, before I get into the recipe, my first trivia question of the night about pizza. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Here it is. Americans love pizza over the course of your lifetime. How many slices of pizza? According to the website that I got this information off of six minutes ago, how many slices of pizza will the average American eat in their lifetime? I have the answer on the scratch pad. Don't look, don't look. All right, you can guess. It doesn't matter if you get it right or wrong because that is not how we give prizes here. Prizes are chosen completely at random. So if you want to win something, you don't have to worry about answering the question correctly, but how many slices of pizza as an American are you going to eat in your lifetime? I'll tell you in a minute. So tonight I'm making pizza. Everyone always says, Lisa, I love your recipes, but then I buy these ingredients and I have no idea what the heck to do with the ingredients once I have them. Like how else do I use them? So I'm gonna give you an idea to use, I made strawberry stuff with this lovely low fat ricotta last night. Um, but today we're gonna use this for making the pizza, which is convenient. And the other day I had recipes using these retro rice cakes. I know they were caramel flavor the other day, but tonight I'm using white cheddar. I, I have to say for these recipes, whatever version of this you have that's not sweet, you can use. If you have plain, if you have salted, if you have unsalted, if you have white cheddar, if you have sour cream and onion, that's all good. I just would not use the caramel, the chocolate, or any of the other sort of sweet flavors if I miss them. But we're gonna start the pizza recipe with one of these lovely 45 calorie rice cakes. I'm, now I'm reading answers. They're saying 18,000. Should I give you the answer to how many slices of pizza you're gonna eat in your lifetime? Keep answering, keep sending comments. 230,000? That's a lot of pizza slices. No, the answer is 6,000. 6,000. But I, I don't know how to judge that. Like, does this count as one slice or is it eight? I think it's one. And then if you eat like an individual pizza, what is that? I, I think it's a little crazy. 
but I digress. We're gonna make, a th the first pizza we're gonna make tonight is a three ingredient white pizza. I don't know if you like white pizza. Are you the person that thinks white pizza is not real pizza? If you are, then it's okay because we're gonna make a traditional pizza in a minute. But right now we're doing a white pizza on a, a cheddar rice cake. Are you ready? This recipe is so not complicated. For those of you who are always like, Lisa, your recipes are complicated. They're really not, they're super easy. So we're gonna put about a tablespoon, which is all you need of this ricotta on my, or regot, if you are a true Italian, which I am not. But you just get that all over the top of your rice cake. Are you seeing this? Can you see, do you have a nice view? Do you love it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm making a mess already. Ooh, what a mess. Okay, there's the, uh, the cheese right up in there. Next, we wanna flavor this nicely. So for my white pizza, I like a little basil. This is dried basil. And then, you know, maybe a little Italian seasoning, a little garlic, whatever flavor profile you like, go for it. You don't need that much. Sometimes I just use garlic, you know? I don't know what flavors you guys like. Feel free to weigh in on that. I put a lot of garlic powder on this. Are you guys having fun yet? <laughs> um, I know I am. All right, so on top of this, this is one rice cake with a tablespoon of the ricotta with a little bit of seasonings. Now I'm gonna use one of my favorite things in the universe. This is a string cheese. Hi, Wendy. Wow, I went to high school with Wendy. Good to see you. You haven't changed a bit, Wendy. Um, this is a half of a string cheese. So I'm gonna take this string cheese. Can you see? Can you see what I'm doing here? I am going to rip this up because it, it's very fun to do this. You could peel it and it actually, they call it string cheese because it looks like little string pieces. And you could just cover the top of your rice cake. Now remember guys, you can win the sticker book that I wrote about in the daily emails just by being here and commenting. If you don't get the daily emails, you really should, you're missing out. So you need to sign up for those. You could also win measuring spoons and learn how to make 100 calorie, three ingredient pizza so I am now finishing the string cheese situation here. Now, if you wanted to be fancy, you could use fresh basil, you could use whatever you want. This is just super, super simple. Do you see that? Do you get a good view of that? I mean, do you have a good view of that? Okay, perfect. Now, what do we wanna do? We wanna get this pizza melty. So, I tried it both ways. Honestly, I like it better in the microwave. You could do this in the toaster oven. If you wanna toast this, just keep an eye on it because the rice cake does tend to burn a little, so I'd put it on some kind of medium toast situation. But for now, we're gonna nuke it. Probably around 30 seconds, but I've got that 1999 Hello Kitty microwave, so maybe your microwave will be faster. Mine is pretty slow. I got it at the mall for $35. Are you having fun yet? Because I know I am. Denise said she thinks <laughs> she's eaten 6,000 slices of pizza alone. Already, Denise? Quarantine. You better slow it down. Oh, in quarantine? That, yeah. Me too, Denise. I, can t I feel you. I totally <laughs> relate. <Even so. laughs> What's everybody saying? Oh my God, it's getting too hot. Rice cakes is such a good idea. What? I think I let it in too long. No, it's good. It's beautiful. Look at it. Ooh. Look at this tr the stringy, delicious cheese. I need to take a bite out of this. I totally do, but it might be too hot, but hold on. This thing is like 100 calories, people. Mmm. Mmm. It's crunchy. It's cheesy. It's creamy. It's incredible. I bet you never thought to make pizza on a rice cake before, but that's not all. I'm gonna make another pizza for you in a minute. How are you doing? Are you following? Do you want me to recap what I just did? It was a rice cake with a tablespoon of ricotta with some spices that I just threw on top and then a half of a string cheese that I gingerly tore apart, put on top and then melted for 30 seconds. I almost said 30 minutes, but no, 30, 30 seconds. All right, moving on. Do you want your second question? What do you think? Okay, this is your second trivia question and your chance to win paint by sticker cat book or a set of Hungry Girl measuring spoons. Yours will not have old ricotta cheese. On. That's not old, I mean used ricotta cheese on it. Uh, the question is, the world's 
Yes, there's gonna be another pizza, so don't leave, stick around. The, um, the first pizza place in the in United States, first pizza place in America is still in existence today. Do you know where it is and what it is? It opened in 1905, 1905. In 1905, a pizza place opened, <coughs> excuse me. It still exists today. It's in New York City. Christy says it sounded weird, but looked good. That's what some people say about you, Christy. <laughs> Was the Just kidding. Regular? Was the what? Fat it's, a, it's a low fat. Listen, during this quarantine, whatever you can get your hands on, if you can find low fat, if they make it anymore, you can get that. If you get a, redu a part skim or whatever, whatever, you're good. Whatever you have, you'll make it work. Next, we're gonna make another pizza, which is more traditional. So watch closely as you answer the question about the pizza place. Is anybody answering? It's not round table. It's not Domino's. It's not Pizza Hut. Come on, put your thinking caps on. Mystic Sounds Pizza like Hut. It is not Pizza Hut, people. <coughs> I'm choking on the rice could cake you, over here. Could you put a wedge of laughing cow garlic and herb cheese instead of the ricotta? Yes, you could. You could use laughing cow if you want. It just, the problem with the laughing cow is you'll want to spread it and then it probably won't melt as easily, but it'll be delicious. It'll be delicious. Okay, so now on the more traditional pizza, this is just a, a low fat marinara, or you could use a pizza sauce. But the issue is gonna be, I think you only need a, a few teaspoons of this, but the issue is that it's a little watery. So if you use it alone, actually I'll use one tablespoon of that. <coughs> oh, I'm making a mess. I am making a mess. It's a good thing I have a washing machine. Um, if you use the sauce alone, it's a little watery. So. What I like to do, if you have it and you want to, you could add about a teaspoon of the ricotta into your tomato sauce. So that's gonna give your tomato sauce a little bit of texture and personality. Wait, it's Lombardi's, yes, Lombardi's pizza. Yes, 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 people, good work. Even if you got it wrong, you could still win a prize. This reminder, it's a cheddar rice cake. This is like a pink sauce. So I've taken the ricotta and I've added tomato sauce to it, or I've taken tomato sauce and added ricotta to it. Now I'm gonna strategically place this on my rice cake and spread it around with love, the way I make all my recipes. With love. Look at that. That is cheesy and saucy and delish. Is it looking good to you people? Yes. Humans? My plate is messy. Hold on, I don't like a messy plate. There, I fixed it. All right. Now, you guys are using Google. Hey, uh, Leilani is accusing you all of cheating. Is Leilani right? Are you guys cheating? <laughs> no cheating, it's not, it's not fair because it doesn't matter if you got the question right or wrong. So now I'm breaking up the other half of the string cheese. So you can make two pizzas with one string cheese. That's pretty awesome, truly. The best part about cooking is making a mess. I think the best part about cooking is eating what you cook, personally. But making a mess is fun too. All right, remember tonight you can win a sticker book, you can win spoons. All you have to do is be here and be loyal and be talky and be safe. Are you guys still in quarantine or are your states open yet? Are you guys going out or are you staying home? We're still staying home here in California. Are you ready to go back out? All right, so then I'm gonna put, it doesn't matter when you put the spices on. I happen to put them on before, now I'm putting them on after. So I've got Italian seasoning, I got a little, I put garlic on it, you could put whatever, truffle salt, you name it. This is where we are now. That's pizza number two. You got that? Leilani, of course I pronounced your name correctly. I'm an overachiever over here, and I'm a good reader and I can spell. So there. All right, now I'm gonna melt that for like 30 seconds. The best cooks are messy cooks. Yeah, I'm a big slob. All right, so that is awesome. Yeah, only half a string cheese for each rice cake. The, it's all you need. That is all you need. All right, it's melting beautifully. It is twirling nicely in the Hello Kitty microwave. Should I show you? Should I give you a view? Could you see that? All right, that was a little reckless of me. Usually I'm not this reckless. <laughs> what? Oh, on 
the itty bitty rice cakes? Well, isn't that the cutest thing I've ever heard? That sounds adorable. All right, this one is a little crazy. What? Oh, this one. So sometimes when you use the, the mixture of the sauces, it gets less crunchy, but so what? It's more like pizza dough. I think I need to take a bite of this one. Look at the cheese, please. What is happening? I feel like some kind of an animal. I'm like a farm animal today. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bite this. Mmm. Yes, yes, yes. A plus. I love pizza so much, I try turning everything into a pizza. This is a home run. Look, sometimes I just use a veggie crust. I'll use a, a green or a, a, some kind of a bell pepper situation as a crust. I'll use an eggplant slice as a crust. But this is more like real pizza crust. Look at that. Yum. And again, you could make this in the toaster oven. However, if you put it in the toaster oven, there is a slight chance that the edges will burn or, and I don't want to make sure that your house doesn't catch on fire. That would be bad. Then you'll blame me for that. I don't need to deal with that. All right, this sticker book can be yours just for being here. Also, the measuring spoons can be yours just for commenting and being here. Make sure you click like or love. If you click love, I know that all the winners are chosen at random, but we will love you more if you click hearts instead of just likes. And um, if you tell me what movie I should watch tonight, extra points. I was thinking, I was thinking about watching Easy A. What do you think? Easy A? Emma Stone? It's a nice retro movie. Good. All right, so that pizza was nice and cheesy. Uh, we found out you're going to eat 6,000 slices of pizza in your lifetime. We found out Lombardi's was the first pizza place in America that opened in 1905. We found out that we all love pizza and that I love you and hopefully you enjoy me as well. And that I like making these videos for you. So you tell me tomorrow night if you're going to be here, we're going to have a margarita party. You know what that means? It's Cinco de Mayo. We're going to be celebrating at home. We're going to have margaritas and we're going to party it up. But I am pretty much done tonight with this. Was this fun? I had a good time. Did you have fun, Lauren? Yes. Am I missing any questions? Jamie, did I miss anything? Ro, you showed up late. Ro just showed up. Ro, you're going to have to rewatch this. Anyway, so your love is conditional. No, my love is unconditional. <laughs> that is it, people. Please, don't take everything I say so literally. The Breakfast Club is the best retro movie. Rocket Man. Maybe I'll watch it. Anyway, you gotta try the rice cake pizza. It's excellent, you're gonna love it. I love you, I want you to sign up for the daily emails. I want you to come back tomorrow night for the margarita party. I want you to stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, don't touch your face. I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, say it. Chew the right thing! <laughs>